Hey everyone, it's Carlos here. So I'm just gonna show you a quick demo on how to build a data pipeline in Datagram with predictive analytics. So here I just drag and drop uh, an integration um, and I'm connecting it to the Jedi NLP operator, which is our natural language operator. And uh, this is just gonna initialize a new machine for me where I'm gonna be creating all of my analysis um, so let's just wait a few for it to create. I'm just gonna pa pause the video because it, it will take about two minutes to create the machine. This is optimized for big data. So that's why it take that long. So be patient, please. So I'm just starting to write here uh, my first instruction. What are my column names uh, in my table? So let's wait a few seconds and it should generate the names in my table. And I always do this to check, you know, what's in there and just to make sure we have data in, in this operator. So a few seconds. And it should be popping up. Okay, here it is. So I'm getting the response in the chat box, but I'm always getting an output table, as you can see, with all my columns here. So now I can start asking this. Um, what if I have the necessary columns to run an RFM analysis, right? And a recency, frequency, and monetary analysis, as you can see here. So basically for that, I'm going to need a customer uh, column. I'm going to use need a value column, and I'm going to need the invoice column, right? So let, let me, let, let, let's see if this will give us the, the correct table for me to be using with the Datagram's RFM operator. Okay, so the table was generated. Um, as you can see, I'm getting the response in the chat box, but I also have my output table here at the bottom uh, with the three columns that I need. I can also select expand reasoning where I can see my Python, the Python code that it generated in the backend. I just hit save and run and this is gonna run this operator. Again, this is gonna take maybe two to three minutes uh, running it. Basically what's doing in the back end, it's now running all the data because what we saw was just a sample data. So it's running all the data so that I can use that in my next RFM operator. I'm just gonna uh, pause here. Um, and as you can see now we have a successful operator and I'm just gonna now configure my RFM operator. Just have to select the, the columns, the right columns, and match it, and just save and run, and this will run um, the RFM uh, predictive analysis with this, uh, let's say, black box operator that Datagram created for you. You can use any of the other operators for predictive analytics as well uh, using this approach. So it was run successfully. Now I want to check the data that it's in there. I can use this SQL operator, which is, you know, very easy to use. I can choose the show editor and it's a, just a point and click. So I just select my tables here um, and I hit the preview button. So this is going to be really quick just to check if that data is there. As we can see, it's there. But now here comes something magical. Let's close this um, operator and let's attach a new NLP operator at the end of this flow. Uh, and what I want to do here is instruct the NLP operator uh, to show me all the count of each type of users. So it's going to initialize uh, a new server for me here. So let's just wait a few minutes. Again, this part, I'm just pausing the video and clicking play just to not make you wait for the two minutes. So now we're back here. It's already created. I'm asking what I just mentioned, which is the count of each type of user. And it just generated the response. As you can see here, I have all the total count of each of my users. The next step is to just save and run this operator. I'm just gonna close it to for the example, and I'm gonna drag and drop a destination. This example, it's an intercom destination. And what it will do is it will automatically enrich each customer with the corresponding RFM tag. 